Hi, welcome everyone. Today we'll be looking at different types of lines. So to start things off, there are many different types of lines uh, one can use. So you can use curvy lines, you can have wavy lines which is sort of the same thing, uh, you can have dashes, you can have zigzag lines, you can just have all sorts of random squiggles. They're all lines. You can have dotted lines, dashes, you can have concentric lines that go in a circular motion like that, whether it's clock, anti-clockwise or clockwise, you can have concentric circles like that. So different types of lines. So the lines we wanted to address today, we have uh, five different types of lines we're going to look at. So we're going to look at firstly, horizontal lines. vertical diagonal parallel and perpendicular so those are the five types of lines we're going to look at so we'll start off with the very simple horizontal line the first one on our list So with horizontal lines, horizontal lines basically run across the page from east to west. These are horizontal lines. They move either from left to right or they can move from right to left. So that's really simple. East to west, left to right, horizontal. Uh, some examples and spaces you may see horizontal lines if you have a window and you may have blinds those blinds form horizontal lines the horizontal lines basically run left to right east to west those are horizontal lines the next type of line we have in our list is vertical lines so we've done horizontal the next type of line is vertical lines so we have vertical lines so vertical lines they are the opposite so basically with vertical lines they run from north to south so north to south a lot of people say from top to bottom so vertical lines whichever direction you decide to draw them top to bottom north to south those are vertical lines the third type of line we're going to look at is diagonal lines now diagonal lines they are obviously different from horizontal and vertical lines in the sense that they run across from one corner to another corner so for example in a rectangle a diagonal is formed when you draw one line from one corner to the other corner so you can have a diagonal there can have a diagonal there so in a rectangle two diagonals now if we want to use in a shape diagonal lines they just run across like that they run in different angles so that could be a diagonal nah. so those are diagonal lines they run from one corner to another corner so let's try another shape let's do square where all the sides are the same in a square you have two diagonals so a diagonal running from this edge this corner sorry to this corner that's a diagonal there and a diagonal in a rectangle usually splits the, the shape into two triangles so one diagonal two diagonals simple as that so again just to recap horizontal lines moving from left to right or east to west Vertical lines, north to south, top to bottom or south to north, they go upwards, downwards. Diagonal line from one edge, one corner downwards to another corner or from another corner to another corner. 
So those are diagonal lines. Then we have parallel lines. So parallel lines are basically lines that are equidistant from each other. They follow each other and they never meet. For example, if I have a horizontal line, if I wanted to draw a parallel line to that, it would mean that it could be any distance, it could be this distance, as long as they are equidistant. They are the same distance apart through us. They are equidistant. They never meet. They never touch. So if I were to carry on these two lines to infinity, they will never meet. Those are parallel lines. So it doesn't matter what gradient of line, as long as they follow each other and they keep apart and they never meet and they are equidistant, they are parallel lines. So we can draw parallel lines that are close, parallel lines that are far apart, again maintaining the same distance, it doesn't matter the gradient. As long as they are the same distance apart, they are parallel. Next we have perpendicular lines. Now, perpendicular lines, for example, is when you have a line and a line that is perpendicular to this line is a line that is running at 90 degrees to this line. So basically, once you have a line like that and it's bisecting this line or it's cutting through this line at 90 degrees, this is a perpendicular line. It is a line that is perpendicular to this line. Or let's call this line A and line B. Line B is perpendicular to line A and line A is perpendicular to line B. So that's all it is. So perpendicular lines are lines that intersect each other at 90 degrees. And intersect means where they cross at a point. So whether they cross like this, they intersect each other there, that angle of intersection must be 90 degrees. 90 degrees. Now when, just to show you another example, when we did the rectangle before, and I show you the diagonal from one corner to the other corner, this corner to this corner, we did get two lines intersecting there at this point. However, those are not perpendicular lines. And the reason for that is because this angle here is not 90 degrees. In order for them to be perpendicular, they must be crossing at 90 degrees. You must get that perfect 90 degree angle there for them to be perpendicular. So again, perpendicular lines, they intersect each other at 90 degrees. If it's 91 degrees, then they're not perpendicular. So there you have it guys, the five types of lines we looked at today. We had horizontal lines where we looked at lines moving from left to right, right to left, east, west. Those are horizontal lines. Vertical lines, they are lines that run from north to south or from south to no north, upwards, downwards, however you decide to describe it. They move in that direction. Diagonal lines, they move in a diagonal shape like that, so uh, in a sort of slanted gradient. Uh, usually in shapes, for example in this rectangle here, they usually run from one, air, one corner to another corner. So that's one diagonal there, that's another diagonal there. And then parallel lines, we said parallel lines, they never meet, they are equidistant regardless of the gradient of the line. So whether you have a gradient of this or this, the distance always remains the same be between them. They are equidistant and they never meet. So those lines can carry on for infinity and they will never meet. Parallel lines never meet. And perpendicular, last but not least, perpendicular lines as we just explained here, are lines that intersect at 90 degrees. So for example, this horizontal line here was intersected at this point and this line is perpendicular to this line because it intersected that first line at 90 degrees. Similarly here, 90 degrees. In this example here, 90 degrees. If it is not 90 degrees, then they are not perpendicular. So, there you have it guys. 
Uh, if you found this video interesting or of any importance to you, please subscribe, hit the notification button to receive updates for new videos like this one. Yeah, hope you enjoyed.